Mo Maslin, Evie Maslin, Otis Maslin. As the trial began, one by one came the names of the dead, 298 of them. Ahmad Hakimi bin Hanapi. Then Australian Victor Orishkin, as his parents listened from the courtroom. It's very upsetting. However, you know, we are glad to hear our son's name to be remembered. You know, so. He's not forgotten. What was really significant, particularly for us, was the amount of time that it took to read the names out. And that gives a real indication about the significance and the absolute atrocity that happened on that day. Five and a half years since MH17 was shot down from the sky, the road to justice has begun. The consequences of what happened in this case, the impact to next of kin, is almost inconceivable. On trial for mass murder, but as expected missing from the courtroom, are Ukrainian man Leonid Kachenko and Russians Igor Gherkin, Sergei Dubinsky and Oleg Politov, or with links to Russian intelligence. Only Politov has appointed lawyers. Oleg Pulatov. Oleg Pulatov says he's not responsible in any way with no contribution in any capacity whatsoever for the bringing down of MH17. The court heard disturbing allegations of the accused reaction when learning a plane had been hit. They had conversations as to whether the missile system had done its job and they noted with delight that an aircraft had been shot down. Being tried in absentia means no jail time if they're found guilty, but the sentence would be delivered nonetheless. Under the Dutch legal system, that means life. Prosecutors told the court for some of the next of kin, the start of this trial is a relief, but for others, it's just another burden to bear. For one, it brings hope, but for another, it's just wounds reopened. We are here for our son, that's why we're here. The defence team says MH17 shouldn't have been flying over a war zone, but prosecutors argue whether the airspace should have been closed is not a matter for the court.